Destination Lithuanian America is in the University of Illinois Champaign-Urbana and uh, this university is unique uh, in America as it probably has uh, the most Lithuanian American students in it. They even have uh, their Baltic club and uh, there is a statue for famous alumni Dick Butkus, a football player in the campus. So now we talk with the vice president of the Baltic club of the university, Gilus Alexa. So how comes is it so? I would say because Illinois and Chicago itself has such a big Lithuanian population, uh, naturally it would follow that one of the biggest universities in Illinois and near Chicago would have such a big uh, Lithuanian population. Otherwise than that, I don't think there's anything specific that draws them here, but I think a lot of people actually from Chicago take it into consideration when considering which university they want to attend, the fact that we have such a big Lithuanian population here. I know I did. So what is the story behind the Baltic Club of the university? Originally around the 1950s, 1950-ish, uh, there was a Lithuanian student society that was focused on helping Lithuanians who were uh, either emigrating here or were just living here uh, that, you know, after the devastation of World War II to kind of get accommodated to life in the US and to kind of get together. And this included as well, I think some people who were already living in America for a long time that were Lithuanian. And there were Lithuanians that attended the university before, but this was kind of like the first organization and the first club uh, that was doing anything here. And then during the 70s and 80s, the Lithuanian Student Society started joining up with the other clubs and it kind of morphed and moved and became into the Baltic Club. So we started having events that included Latvians and Estonians. So we became one big, big club. Since then, uh, there have been periods of inactivity and activity and even a Baltic house at one point. The majority of our club is Lithuanian, but we do have some Latvians and we do have some Estonians. We're always happy to have members from every country. So we came actually to host one of uh, your events. Like we had a presentation about Lithuanian heritage in America, the one that we visit and mark uh, in the map.ruluthania.com uh, map of Lithuanian American heritage. And what other activities uh, do you have in the club? We have cultural events sometimes. Every single year we try to celebrate kuchos and have, you know, make Lithuanian food and just have some, you know, Lithuanian, you know, cultural traditions like uh, having, pouring some wax into water or drawing straws and doing some of the burtai, like the, the, the magic kind of, of Christmas, I guess. I, I don't know how to explain it better. Then we also try to have picnics have some just intellectual events. I would consider this a little bit more of an intellectual events where we're getting to know Lithuanian culture in America. And then we also have one big event, which would be the celebration of our, you know, February 16th independence from Russia uh, back in 1918. Uh, and in that event, uh, it is attended by Lithuanian college students from all over America, sometimes even Canada. It's a great networking event to like get to know people, and li especially Lithuanians from all over the country. You get to meet a lot of new people from all over the, uh, the, uh, the U.S. that are Lithuanian. And then besides that, we just have some regular just meeting up and hanging out to just get to know all the Baltic people that are attending at this university and just, you know, uh, have fun. <laughs> it were your grandparents who immigrated uh, from Lithuania fleeing the Soviet occupation of Lithuania yes. at the time, yes. So you are the third generation basically uh, of your family who lives in America, you were born here. So what encourages you to continue cherishing the Lithuanian traditions? I consider myself to be a Lithuanian. Uh, I am proud to be a Lithuanian. Going to Lithuanian events brings me joy because I love my nation. Uh, in my country uh, and I always want to learn more about it. I think there is something that is deep within my mind and within my heart that always draws me back to uh, either just Lithuania and everything Lithuanian. So I, you know, I love just meeting up with other Lithuanians, talking about things and just getting to know the, my brothers and sisters through my nation uh, better. And then, you know, whenever I travel to Lithuania, there's always something like just seeing the rivers, seeing the Amunas Nedis, uh, and seeing just the country that really like pulls at my heart and really tells me that there's something more to this. There's something like metaphysical here that is at, at play that draws me there. Uh, I think this is natural for everyone to ha like love their kind of have something to love about their origins and their nations. But I think Lithuania is special in the fact that whenever I meet a Lithuanian anywhere, they always love Lithuania and they always 
are interested in learning more about Lithuania and getting to know other Lithuanians. I'm glad you have these feelings <laughs> and uh, uh, you mentioned that you used uh, our map of Lithuanian American heritage and, I, and our encyclopedia. So which Lithuanian sites in America, in the United States, are the most interesting or most dear to you personally? I would say uh, Camp Dainova in Michigan, Manchester, Michigan, is kind of the home away from home. I think often uh, even people visiting from Lithuania look at that camp and they say, wow, that looks kind of like my country. That looks kind of like Lithuania. And it is a very beautiful place. And I, 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 was, I basically spent all my summers there growing up. So it has a very fond place in my heart. And it's just beautiful and a fun place to be. I have a lot of memories there. So that's number one. And then number two, always, I would say the Lithuanian World Center there's a lot that goes on there that is to do with Lithuanian events. I spent, you know, every single Saturday of my high school and well, up, up until sophomore year from like middle or middle school at Lithuanian school there. So I, I got to know the place really well and yeah, spent a lot of time there. So those are my two, I, I would say Lithuanian World Center in Lamont and uh, Dainava, Camp Dainava in Manchester, Michigan. Thank you very much and I hope uh, even after completing the university studies we <laughs> will continue to help preserving this size of Lithuanian heritage <laughs> here in America if you will stay here. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah.